shooting for the gold medal, please welcome Francho Rufus Morillo. Shooting for the gold medal, representing Czech Republic, please welcome Richard Kretschy. A World Archery International judge for this match. Here come the two archers for the gold medal match now in the recurve under Once 21 again, we'll men's competition. Bunny target Frank Rufus Marero of Spain, one, 15 who meters fourth distance. in the ranking round, and Richard Kretschy of the Czech Republic, who finished sixth. So these two have come through the eliminations and into the semi-finals and come through nicely these two despite not uh, being near the top of the qualifications they have found their or left their best form in the semi-finals both of them scored 60 points in the semi-finals to win their matches which is a very good score and let's see if they bring their a games to this recurve under 21 gold medal match and uh, for Richard Kretschy, he got close to winning a medal in the mixed teams competition, finishing fourth, just losing the bronze medal match. So a chance for him to get on the podium here again today. Rufus Murillo is 20 years of age, just new on the archery scene. Kretschy is just 16 years old. So here he is trying to win. An under-21 title, Bernardo. That would be some achievement for a 16-year-old. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, me, myself, I would have loved to, to have this title. Um, and uh, 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 Franco Rufus Morillo, uh, we could see he knew right after he released the string that it was a good shot. It was in the five. Um, and, oh, uh, is that a six? Um, yeah, he's definitely feeling very good right from the start. Um, good shooting. Well, let's see if the standard maintains here. Kretschy's opened with potentially a five and a four. We'll see if that uh, first arrow might be upgraded to a five. Last arrow here for Rufus Mario. Wow, he is feeling it. Seventeen out of eighteen. I'll take that any day of the week in the first end of a gold medal match. And here's Kretschy, and that's Unofficial going to be a score. five for him. We have a 16 for so Mr. Nice Rufus archery there Spain, from the Spaniard. And we have a 14. Yeah, Mr. it's Kretschy so good when Czech you can start we'll a final match like this, you know. Like well, when you just put it all together right from the start, uh, I'm sure this is going to make him feel way calmer and, and more relaxed for the second end. Uh, we see the archers uh, adjusting their sights. Uh, adjusting the sight is one of the skills uh, the archer has to develop really well for field archery because not only the distances change but also the inclination uh, so uh, like uh, they're shooting downhill so with Mr. this Rufus angle picks up a point shooting after downwards scoring, towards so he's got the ground on the, uh, the effect Mr. this Kretschy has on the sight it's like as if you were shooting a, a target that is actually closer than, than the real distance and uh, at the fourth Rufus target, the fourth end, that we're going to see later on, at a world since they're shooting upwards, the, the effect is the opposite. So it's kind of like they're shooting old, a target that is actually further away. So all of this, you know, it, well it's a skill set you have to develop to be spot on from the first arrow in each target. And uh, here we go. Set. Uh, end number two. This is the first time they've met. Indeed, and the inclination between the first end and the second end is a lot smaller for the second end. Very now on sharp decline on that first face, end down to the 15-meter target. But now in the distance is a 50-meter target. Still down incline, but uh, not as steep. There's a four for Mr. Rufus Mario. We'll start with a four. His opponent with a four-five liner. Looks like that might have just touched the line from Kretschy. Even though it was brilliant archery from the Spaniard in that first end, I don't think Kretschy would be too disappointed with uh, his form. And uh, four points four. down. 
at the moment. He wouldn't want the margin to get any bigger than that. And then the pressure will really come on him. But uh, he'll back himself here, the 16-year-old, to come back after that. That first end. That's oh, hearts racing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a real skill in this sport, isn't it? As you well know, Bernardo, to deal with the nerves and the adrenaline. It's just a natural kind of occurring feature of the body, but you've somehow got to deal with it because you want to be in your calm, happy place on the shooting line. Absolutely. You're just standing, not doing much, but your heart can be racing as if you're running a sprint. And uh, Franco Rufus Morillo was very accurate adjusting his sight. He started a little bit high, but then finished up with a very good shot in the six. Um, uh, Richard Kretzi, uh, let's see his last arrow. Um, I think he's not fully comfortable in this match yet. Um, his body moving. Oh, clock. that didn't look good. I think he's going to feel lucky and happy for that arrow landing on what seems to be a five because uh, the execution really didn't look like a five. And uh, sometimes you just got to take it. And as I said before, just forget it all. On to the next end, next arrow. And um, yeah, everything is yet to play for. Well, Rufus Murillo, out of his six arrows, has three sixes. So that's a pretty good effort from the Spaniard. And he's locked in a score, it looks like, of 31 for the first six. And that score is as i go back through the previous matches we've had in the session it's easily the best at the halfway stage of any of the previous matches so rufus Murillo going well and looks like Cretchy's going to lock in a four two fours and maybe a five with that first arrow which is start at the moment and he will hopefully get that upgraded because he'll need every point he can get being uh, behind by a minimum Bernardo of at least four points and heading so into the last half of this uh, gold medal match. Points on the board for yeah, uh, I think uh, Richard Gretti, he just it wasn't very lucky touching the lines, you know. Uh, sometimes the difference between an arrow that has barely touched the line or not, the difference is minimal and it just feels like kind of luck. But then just forget it all. Like, um, it's interesting to note that uh, both archers, they have very different techniques but um, uh, all roads lead to Rome, right? Uh, everybody just wants to hit the center of the target. Uh, but yeah, it seems to me Richard Krejci, he's like not feeling comfortable, not yet, and he, he'd better find his way soon because it's already halfway through the match and we go end number three. Yeah, and it's a comfortable margin for the Spaniard at the moment. He leads by 31 to 26. So he's extended his lead by two points after the first end. And now they go to target three, which is 25 metres away. 40 centimetre target face. Four points for Mr. Kretschy of Czech Republic. It's been interesting, this target here. It's uh, the flattest, if you like, for the archers. No significant incline or decline and a four to Murillo, navigate here, Bernardo, but they seem to just be struggling a little bit, all the archers today on this. Yes, and um, I think one of the, the biggest contributing factors to this Five is uh, body balance Christian. is so important in archery. And because the terrain is uh, not level there, so it really affects your body balance. Uh, I think I uh, we can even see uh, Rufus Morillo moving slightly as he's pulling five through the clicker, um, but he's just found his way into the five. And also, they were shooting with a big angle before. And then when you change to the flat surface, it feels so different. It's like it's another shot. It, it's another sport, if you may. And uh, yeah, we see them aborting the shots and like uh, finding difficult to find their, their rhythm again. Yeah, it's a good camera shot behind the two arches to give you a really good four indication points. Rufus Murillo will finish with a four but Krejci really needs something in the yellow here to have any hope at all four points for Mr. just Krejci. hanging on to it but he he's got a four 
five-point deficit, just as we had going into that last... So it looks seven. like and those scores are going to be identical. 4-5-4. Four, 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 four. Those arrow scores through that end for those two Especially archers. Checker. And it looks like that, uh, points on that the uh, comfortable five-point margin the of the for the Spaniard is going to be maintained heading into this last end. Shot. Yes, um, Richard Krejci, he... It's like I've seen already three arrows in which his release did not come come out smooth at all. Like uh, he really doesn't look Scores comfortable. And uh, Rufus Morillo, on Rancho the other hand, uh, he looks rock solid. Like he looks really to have found his his mojo here. And um, yeah, Mr. I think it'll Spain take quite a lot for, for him to lose opponent, this medal. Jeff but uh, I have six. seen crazier things in archery. So. Yeah, we got to wait and see because um, anything can happen. Well, that's exactly right. You've still got to get three arrows on the target. Uh, that is <laughs> ultimately what matters. And uh, if Rufus Maria gets one wrong, then that the door could be wide open for the Czech archer to come back into it. So now they go up, up into the trees for this last target 35 meters away 60 final. centimeter and then the gold target face but uh we get this target's the actually up on a uh, on a crane in the trees so let's see if rufus murillo can maintain his composure and win the gold here for himself and spain he knows he's just three solid arrows away from winning gold. And there's one Rufus right off the five, bat. And Mr. just Rufus like that, he's three. extended his lead by another two points. His sixth arrow out of ten into the five or six zone for the Spaniard. So he's going great in this match. Five and there's another one. Mr. Rufus. Yeah, Krejci is not happy at all, is he? He's just not kind of finding or feeling it at the moment. He's got 60 points. He can, he can play in the semi-finals but he just hasn't Four bought it today so rufus murillo looks certain now he's got the the gold medal all wrapped up krechi with that five but uh the deficit is too big so it's going to be gold to spain and he has shot magnificently in this match As we just await Krejci's final arrow. Silver medal for Richard Krejci. Of Finished Czech with Republic, a four. World but Rufus Murillo of Spain category. gets From the job Espania. done very, very nicely in this recurve under-21 match.